Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 Beginners video series on MSFT Webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to install and configure network load balancing in Windows Server 2022. NLB is one of the most popular high availability and redundancy feature used in Windows based networks. NLB distributes network traffic across a set of servers, balancing the workload each server must handle. In Windows Server 2022, NLB clusters can have between 2 to 32 nodes. When you create an NLB cluster, it creates a virtual network address and virtual network adapter. The virtual network adapter has an IP address and a MAC address. Network traffic to this address is distributed evenly across the nodes in the cluster. When an NLB cluster receives a request, it forwards that request to the node that currently is the least used. You can also configure NLB to direct traffic to a specific host called a default host. Let's understand the taste lab which we will use in this video. We have single domain Active Directory Forest named msftwebcast.com. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller. We have two more Windows Server 2022 VMs. This VM is our first Windows Server 2022 member server that has been joined to our Active Directory domain. The FQDN of this server is node1.msftwebcast.com. We have attached two network adapters to this VM. In the first step, let's install IIS and NLB feature on this member server. On server manager, click on manage and select add rules and features. Click next. Select role base and feature base installation and click next. Select the local server and click next. Check the web server IIS rule box and click Add Features. Click Next to continue. Check the Network Load Balancing box and click on Add Features to add required features. Click Next to continue. Click Next, click Next again and click on Install. The installation has been started on our member server. Go to Second Member Server. This is our second member server which is joined to our Active Directory domain. The FQDN of this member server is node2.msftwebcast.com. We also have two network adapters on this server. Let's install web service and NLB on this member server. But this time we will use Windows PowerShell to do so. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. At PowerShell, type cmdelete install hyphen windows feature nlb hyphen include management tools and hit enter key. This will install nlb feature with required management tools. Next, we want to install web server rule. Type cmdelete install hyphen windows feature web hyphen server hyphen include management tools. Hit enter key. Let's go back to node 1. Installation is also successfully completed on node 1. Click on close. So web server rule and NLB feature has been installed successfully on both servers. Now it's time to create an NLB cluster for web service. Click on tools and select network load balancing manager. Right click on Network Load Balancing Manager cluster and select New Cluster. In the host box, type the server host name. Let me type Node 2 and click on Connect. If there are multiple interfaces, select the interface dedicated to cluster. On our node, we have two network adapters, one for heartbeat and second which is dedicated for NLB cluster. Let me select NLB interface 
and click next. The priority determines the order in which failover takes place. By default, the server with priority 1 is the active node. This NLB node will reply to the client's queries first. Also ensure that the default status has set as a started and click next. The cluster IP, a virtual IP address is needed. Click add to set a virtual address to the cluster. This is the IP address which clients use to communicate with NLB cluster. Enter the IP version 4 address and subnet mask of the cluster. After entering IP version 4 address, click OK. Click Next to continue. Enter the cluster FQDN, which is going to be web.msftwebcast.com in our case. Remember, this is optional. Under cluster operation node, I'm going to select multicast. Click Next. On the port rule screen, configure the ports you want the NLB cluster to direct to the nodes. Here, I'm going to define ports 80 and 443 for web traffic. Select the existing port rule and click on Add it. Set the port range from 80 to 80 with both protocol type. Under filtering mode, so we can see multiple host is selected. Multiple host means active active cluster and single host means active passive cluster. Next, we have the setting for affinity. Set the affinity mode as per your requirement. Single affinity refers to load balancing based on the source IP address of the incoming connection. It automatically redirects or requests from the same address to the same cluster member. If you select none, the connection will be sent to the host with the list connections to use if no session is managed behind. Network option gives cluster the ability to manage the distribution according to the source network. If you are using network load balancing and you want to direct multiple requests from the same IP address to the same cluster host, then you need to select a single affinity and which is selected by default. Now I'm just going to click OK. We need to perform the same steps for port 443. It is going to be for both protocols. Filtering mode will be set to multiple host and affinity is set to single. Click OK. Now click on finish to complete the creation of the NLB cluster. Let me click on our cluster name. Under status, we can see it is pending. So wait for the converged status. We have successfully added the first NLB host to the cluster. We can see node 2 is added successfully and status is converged. We need to add additional host to the NLB cluster. Right click the cluster node and select add host to cluster. Enter the IP address or host name of the new NLB host and click on connect. In our case, I'm going to add the hostname node 1 and click on connect. Select the NLB network interface. Click next. The priority is going to be 2. Click next. The port rules are already configured. We just need to click on finish to add the member server to the existing cluster. Click on finish. The status is currently pending. Let's wait for a few seconds. Now we can see that our NLB cluster with two members is ready. Let's add clusters DNS resource record in our DNS server. Go back to domain controller VM, click on tools and select DNS. Expand server name, expand forward lookup zones and click on msftwebcast.com DNS zone. Right click on it and select new host. Type name which is web in our case. So the FQDN will be web.msftwebcast.com. Type the associated IP address which is going to be 172.18.72.75. Clear create PTR record checkbox and click on add host. The host record added successfully. Click OK. Click on 10. We can see this is a host record which we have added. 
Now, before we taste NLB cluster, let's go to Node 1, open File Explorer. Go to this PC, C drive, INET pub, WW root, and I'm going to change this image. Now let's select edit. Add a different color here. Okay. Let's go back to our domain controller and let's open Microsoft Edge web browser. To verify that our NLB cluster is configured successfully and functioning properly, type web.msftwebcast.com and hit enter key. Verify that you can access the website with the default web page. Close Microsoft Edge web browser. Go back to node 1. To taste the high availability of the NLB cluster, we will drain stop the first node. Right click node 1. Select Control Host and then select Drain Stop to stop this node temporary. The first host is now drained and services are stopped. Again, go back to Domain Controller VM. Can we still access the site? Let's check that. Let's open Microsoft Edge web browser and again type the URL as RDP colon double slash web webcast.com and hit Enter key. We can confirm that the default website is still accessible. However, this time the NLB node 2 will serve the website. We can confirm it by seeing the default web page of this website. We can confirm that our NLB cluster is working successfully as we expected. I hope you found this video helpful. That's all for this video on how to install and configure network load balancing in Windows Server 2022. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions and suggestions. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.